Yeah, in the SNES version. Not like S you needed S the 148th life. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I think I recorded that after I did 3 4, to tell you the truth. So I think that's my life count after all is said and done. Spoilers! Done. Oh my gosh, spoilers! <laughs> My life Miles counts as spoiler. Luigi, why? Spoilers already? <laughs> Gosh, I am terrible. Our current level, which is not a spoiler, thank goodness, is Nepinuts Domain. And this is Nepinuts. He's like the regular E Nuts, as I explained when he appeared earlier, except he'll follow you. But this following aspect isn't necessarily shown quite yet. The game's just kind of showing you right now Nepinuts is like the other Inut you saw him earlier. Mm. So. But later on, we'll see his behavior of actually following the player down and hunting him down. This might actually be the first time you come across this guy, since the other time we saw him, uh, it was a bonus room. That, you don't that is correct. So this is where you would actually definitely run into him. Mm -hmm. um, another side comment I wanted to make about both um, the Enots and Epinuts. Um, they kind of look funky. They're doing some weird SNES transformation to make that graphic. Probably that Super FX chip, I, I wouldn't know for entirely certain. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like the cleaned up graphic that was done in Yoshi's Island DS, where they're actually given a real legitimate sprite instead of the graphic effect whatever they used here. That's just me though. Oh. No, nothing against their look here, but it just looks a little weird to me. <laughs> I need to go and compare, big... I actually haven't really thought about it. Here it's a big blue mass, and in Yoshi's Island DS it's actually like a sprite. Ah. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, oh no! Chasing me! <laughs> no! You didn't lose any stars though. <laughs> Lucky me. Uh, but there's something interesting about this. The fact he chases you also means. Is, uh, let's see if I can show it off here. Alright, we gotta get on top of a tree and jump over him! There we go! We can jump over him. <laughs> Which is useful because the egg supply here is kind of limited, and I don't want to throw any of my eggs at him. So, it's better to jump over him. Either that or just throwing my butt off instead of showing off crap. Yes, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the best strategy there here you is go, to show eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, feed me monkeys. I was actually waiting for this monkey to toss another one of his uh, green spiky things, but he isn't going to toss one. I think he's just really concerned hanging on that tree for dear life. Oh, no, no, he's doomed. Down he goes. <laughs> Now this monkey, I was actually going to show off that specific behavior, that's new behavior, you notice he's just kind of hopping towards us. And we have <laughs> to pound all the stakes into the ground. <laughs> well, you never no know if there's red eggs or not. whatsoever. <laughs> that monkey has the behavior of kidnapping Baby Mario by just, you know, hopping into ya and kidnapping Baby Mario. <laughs> that one doesn't So does too. that one, too. <laughs> Thankfully, there's not really much for threat, plus the bubble clouds earlier. We're already at 30 stars, which is pretty awesome, because this level is pretty heavy on the midway points, actually. I like how it's always oh, called these... the middle ring, even though they're not always in the middle. They're not always in the middle ring, yeah, exactly. This guy is interesting. I don't know his name. I won't, don't even bother to look up his name, but you can kidnap his babies. <laughs> That's so mean. It is really mean, and not only that, they function like eggs, but a little bit different. They function like boomerangs, specifically. They'll come back to you. That's, well, that's theoretically really useful, but I find the boomerang arc usually messes me up more than anything else, because these guys don't necessarily appear all that often. How do you and, get uh, rid of them? <laughs> you either have to fill up your egg supply and have them at the end, where then they'll just disappear, or you need to throw them such that they bounce off a lot of crap and they eventually expire. They'll also try to run away from you sometimes. It was a long, shy guy. <laughs> He's pretty tall. <laughs> wow. You, you notice the long, shy guy? He's a really e easy enemy to not notice, actually. It's like, oh, hey, there's a random long, shy guy there. I also hit a bubble well, cloud that the bridge. Well, he kind of stuck out like a sore thumb to me. I don't know. <laughs> To some people, I extended that bridge, and if you notice, extending that bridge now means I can't get that helicopter bubble. Which kind of stinks, because I'm now not able to get into that uh, little gap there. Thankfully, I'm actually able to exit this area that makes the bridge disappear. Ooh, <laughs> lucky. Lucky me, which is also lucky because there's a red coin there, and it's actually really easy to think, oh, I should probably go get that helicopter bubble cloud, I'll get my secret, and then come back here. When in actuality, that's actually how you continue on with the level. So I have missed that red coin more than once, and I even missed it on a previous recording that I threw away. Oh. <laughs> so you want to make sure you get that red coin first before you go after the helicopter bubble. 
There we go, just a bonus area with a bonus flower. But we do that, and now the bridge is gone! Hooray! <laughs> There's a bubble cloud up there! <laughs> that's the bubble cloud that releases the door. Oh, that's correct! <laughs> Why did that's it come correct. Back? So right now I did actually want to show off that Lawn Shy Guy. Yeah, he's a Lawn Shy Guy. <laughs> that I noticed oh. already. Now the interesting thing is, if you jump on him, he spits seeds. <laughs> It's as if he has a watermelon. You can even ground pound on him. And eat him too. <laughs> too bad he doesn't make a lawn egg. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Whoa! You might be wondering why I threw this in Fast Forward. That's because I'm just fiddling around at this point, actually. Specifically because I wanted to get up on this platform here. Hmm. Well, then why didn't you speed that up? Well, no, because I wanted there to show off go. that I didn't make it up on that platform. But that monkey thankfully jumped at me, and I jumped off of him, and I'm like, yay, I can make it up to this platform where there's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> there's a couple areas in this game like this where if you um, flutter off of an enemy, you're able to make it up onto a platform. I don't think the game designers really intended for you to make it there, but usually there's nothing. <laughs> so, why don't we just go ahead and continue on with the level, get our helicopter level. Hooray, we're a helicopter, and we're all silently listening for... No. Uh, just no. <laughs> Don't even go there. Don't don't even say anything. Just no. <laughs> yeah, the helicopter is able to fit through uh, small gaps like that. Normally, Yoshi can't. It also makes up a lot of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> it also means you're blowing up your rotors, tearing up your rotors. So you can't turn into one anymore. Yay! No more helicopter, Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> the game's logic wasn't that smart, evil pop darts, but. Interestingly enough, um, we have a little bit of water it's here, and I told you. It's made of flesh and muscles, don't you know? <laughs> it should be made we of can't... bone! But it's not. We cannot swim downward. We can, uh, extend Yoshi our tone upwards, which bone? I... <laughs> we can extend our tone upward, which I think is really cool, cute looking, and we can also put our head underwater, which it looks kind of interesting. <laughs> but more importantly, our new transformation bubble is down below. Submarine! The submarine. There's something really cool about the submarine in this game that actually wasn't in Yoshi's Island DS. We're able to shoot missiles. <laughs> nice. And the missiles kind of have a really, really weird uh, pattern to them, but they generally home onto enemies. Someone. We have those guys from one of the castles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that angry puffer fish. He's funny. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm running out of time. Let's go up to the next blue one. So, submarine? Nothing evil popped out. I'm just gonna not say anything anymore. I give up. Evil Pop Tart <laughs> has died from this. No, I haven't died. I just, I just give up. It's stupid. Oh look, let's tumble! Now that we got hit with a submarine, instead of getting a hull breach and then sinking with water. God. <laughs> Funny you mention that. We should that. just be running over <laughs> these fish anyway. I don't see why they would hurt a submarine. <laughs> Most of the time, video games and logic do not mix. <laughs> Especially just Nintendo saying. Logic. <laughs> yes, no, just only saying. Nintendo games and Logic don't miss. There are some video games where Logic does actually matter. Yes, but it's not just Nintendo games that are like that. <laughs> Give me an example. Jesus! I don't have one on hand! Well, there you go. Uh, how about Jet Set Radio, where you're literally a punk on a <laughs> exactly. skating or that had and no Sonic. Plans. That was real. Sonic Adventure. But you're able to jump Sonic like eight Adventure feet in the two. air. Yeah. That, it's interesting I, I that we're that thinking of Sega logic games. In video games just kind of wrecks them, and it's more fun to just. <laughs> how about Resident it? Evil? Yeah, because like Resident seriously, Evil doesn't make how a whole could lot of Tales sense? the Fox actually fly? <laughs> that would mean that he would have no bones at the base of his tails. It wouldn't make any sense. But it's sure damn fun to do in-game, right? Yep. <laughs> and that's the point. And that's why we love the transformation bubbles. Also, Yoshi looks cute. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So about this area, wow, here's a crab. He takes three eggs to take him down. It looks familiar, as if he's from another game, too, although it's probably just me thinking that. I, mean, I guess it kind of looks like the crabs from the original Mario Brothers, but it's not really. I don't know. <laughs> with, a, with a cloud body instead? Yeah, I, I, I guess with so, with a cloud body. 
See, original Mario Brothers, you had to jump underneath a platform that'd make them angry, and then you'd have to jump underneath the platform again to finally knock them over. Yeah. Maybe that concept was actually reused here, now that I think about it. It takes them three eggs. There's a froggy, and they're actually a kind of interesting enemy, because they have a tongue, too, as I'm just about to show off here. <laughs> now, if they touch you, or if uh, their tongue touches you, they kidnap Baby Mario flat out. Hmm. So thankfully, they're not like another Yoshi, they eat you, you're dead. <laughs> but they do kidnap Baby Mario. Now the cheap GPs here are extraordinarily annoying. Like usual. <laughs> Especially since and I decided you to... gotta knock every post in, as usual. None of these posts have a red coin, though. Which is the even more annoying part. <laughs> and I am missing exactly one red coin at this moment. So it's like, I, I don't know, I better pound down the stakes, because you never know if they are down here. <laughs> well, here's a massive one. Yeah, that's a massive stake. <laughs> oh, and there's another froggy. There we go, now it's down. Hooray! There's our last red coin, and I know it's gold. There's the flashing shy guy. Let's hit it. And... Uh -huh. Oh, do I, uh -huh. oh, I missed again. There we go. <laughs> oh, darn it. I don't know why I remember those things giving you one-ups when you hit them with eggs, but I guess not. Damn. Hmm. They, they just give you coins. Maybe maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe I need to look up and see what exactly their purpose are, maybe but I remember them giving you one-ups. <laughs> not yet. I have everything, but I don't have uh, 30 stars. And the area I'm in isn't friendly to make red eggs, as I was trying to do for the last two minutes, actually. So, a different solution. We're going to, uh, get Baby Mario kidnapped. <gasps> How could you? Now you might be thinking, blasphemy my mouth, Luigi. But this will actually send me to the last midway point, with 30 stars, because that's how much I had at the last midway point. Mm -hmm. So now I can be more careful, not lose coming? any stars. Oh, wait, because yeah, it has that's to go right. down to zero. I was just like, this is... This is better hurry up. <laughs> there. They finally got Baby Mario. Restart from middle ring. Let's go ahead and do that. And basically just pretend I went through uh, from the midway point to this level again, except I didn't lose any stars. Woo! I'll take a look at that monkey hovering over that uh, middle <laughs> or the end goal. No, you don't. That'd be funny if yeah. they could steal no, Baby don't. Mario after you hit the goal and then you lost stars. <laughs> That would have sucked. Anyway, goal! Oh, no sorry, goal! I'm no late bonus to the challenge party. this time. <laughs> Evil pop What do you take this time? This time I got no bonus challenge, one bonus challenge, and no bonus challenge. <laughs> With that, 300 points gets us a 3 up. Like you even need it. <laughs> that is the long-running joke in this Let's Play, is that I don't need all these 1-ups. And we make it to level 3-4. And I like 3-4 because it starts... I suppose 2-4 really set I wish you would the die theme. more, it would be more entertaining. That, I'm that sorry, will I'm come interrupting up later, you, but... okay? Can you be patient for a second? We're in 3-4, I'm trying to explain that we're in a castle, but this castle is I actually a little bit different. I am not patient at all! Damn it! <laughs> 3-4 is Prince Froggy's Fort, but unlike other castles, it actually kind of has a different theme. Specifically, it's like an outdoor garden theme, which I really, really like, because when you really think about it, one-fourth of the castles in this game are, uh, <laughs> are, are one-fourth of the levels of this game are castles. So I'm happy that they did vary it up instead of just throwing you in yet another castle or yet another castle. Oh, that's cool. Example being Super Mario Brothers, where each world it was like World 4, yet another castle. <laughs> Here's some lava. Here's some uh, fire bars. Go to the end. <laughs> yeah. Look, you can, like, but here in Yoshi... <laughs> no, you first. You, know, you give him a bit of a break with the original Mario. I mean, don't forget the point that every boss is exactly the same, except there's like one little minor difference. <laughs> fair points. Fair points. Yeah, Bowser, every boss. But yeah, each castle... I mean, there is some variation is what I'm trying to say here. And later on, there will be some more variation as well. Yeah, Prince Froggy's Forts, uh... You can jump across this gap without the bridge, but... Oh, nice freeze frame. Uh, <laughs> wow. It's just easier to make it across with the bridge. And we'll be spending almost our entirely... T entirely. Entire time outdoors. That's cool. <laughs> I like how you look through that window and you also see outdoors. So it's not like you're even entering a castle, because on the other side of this wall, it technically should also be outdoors. Which it is, although it doesn't look anything like the other side of the wall. 
it's kind of like we're in a jungle-ish ruins. And I like that. Mm -hmm. there go. But the cheap cheeps are still cheap. They're like a really terrible enemy. You don't even get eggs off of them when you eat them. So they literally are no benefit to the player unless you're in a situation where you can jump off of them. But I don't even think that situation comes up in this game. Let it be told <laughs> that someone's now going to mention that it comes up in Yoshi's Island ROM hacks where you have to jump off a cheap cheap. <laughs> Because I've been told multiple times through comments that, oh, here's a feature that isn't used very often in Yoshi's Island, but it's used all the time in the Yoshi's Island ROM hacks. I'm like, uh... I hardly know anything about Yoshi's Island ROM hacks, so unfortunately I cannot put any input on that. <laughs> I haven't even used the tool. I'm assuming there's a tool out there to do all the Yoshi's Island ROM hacking. I remember there used to be a really hard to use one, and I kind of tried it back in the day. I was like, I have no idea what's going on. I just went back to Super Mario World. I think that there's a lot of better tools out there now for hacking it. I wouldn't doubt it. So there are two crabs in that room, and in order to uh, get the prize in that room, you have to kill both of the crabs. Now, there are two solutions. The first is you can obviously toss six eggs, three at each crab. Or, crap. I get three brilliant here. Three at each crab. <sighs> Don't mix up my words. We can use up a watermelon. No, you did say crab. Well, they are crabs. I said you. You said crab. Three at crab. each crab. Crab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I used a fire watermelon because then I could just breathe a single thing of fire, and they're both dead. That's awesome. What if you had used the ice flower? Would they freeze, and then you just have to like touch them, and they'll disintegrate? Probably. <laughs> I, I can't say for one hundred percent certain because I don't think I've ever done it. But for until then, Ooh, I'll just say probably. Evil. <laughs> this is pretty evil, actually. Darn the, uh, Run! Along with the spike ball and line, that thing actually has a pretty large hitbox that I run into. I think that's about my third time. <laughs> like the oh. next version of the rotating mace from Super Mario World, where there you could go through the chain, but here, Bowser was smart and attached spikes to it so you can <laughs> not just cheaply get past it. Very true. Alright. In this room, there is a bucket. Now, last time we saw a bucket, we kind of knocked him over, but this bucket, we knocked into the water. Hmm. And this is kind of like a precursor thing, letting you know that buckets can go into liquids. Um, right now, it's just in water, so it's like, eh, whatever. But later on, we're going to be riding buckets in lava. <laughs> Woo! The incredible non-melting melt. bucket. Yeah, no, we they both don't melt. commented on that at the same time. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they do not melt. They're like buckets in Minecraft. <laughs> You're able to put all the lava you want. Well, I suppose in Minecraft you use the bucket to pick up lava, so the analogy doesn't work perfectly. Because <laughs> if you throw a bucket it, into lava, it will actually disintegrate in Minecraft. It's You can pick up lava with buckets. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Last but not least, more of these before we guys. go into our next room. Yep, more of these guys, and we got the rotating... Uh, merry-go-round thing. <laughs> this is where ground pounding basically trivializes this entire area, because you ground pound and the shy guys just get stunned. <laughs> like, well... It looks like they're dancing. <laughs> there goes all the challenge here. Um, technically, we don't have to bring the merry-go-round thing with us the entire way, you just have to bring it to there to get those items. Mm -hmm. But I decided to just bring it the rest of the way because I didn't know that at this time, but there isn't anything else to collect, we just have to make it to the other end of the room. I suppose those coins there. Does the, you can always throw eggs. Does the purple pinkish color on the platform indicate anything? Like the uh, the speed that it spins at? Because I know that the uh, red, yellow, and uh, green on the other kinds of platforms indicate something. I, I haven't been paying attention to if all of the merry-go-round platforms have been that color. I haven't noticed either. <laughs> Wow, okay. I'll have to pay attention next time we're on a merry-go-round platform what color it is. <laughs> and if it moves at a different speed. <laughs> Alright, in this room, the arrows point to you and tell you, hey, jump over the crab. Hooray, we did it! What is with the color in this room? What is it supposed to be trying to represent? You're in like a... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, a really misty area, but it doesn't have the mist. It's more like really... I guess a really flesh-like color. Hmm. It's almost like you're under like, I, a sun lamp I or something. I have no idea. Well, sunlight's a possibility. I mean, now it's nighttime. If we were to go with that analogy, maybe a very slight sunset. Hmm. Now, this room has b bridges and spikes. Now, last but not least, I don't want to instantly die, because those are the instant death spikes. 
So let's go ahead and extend some brinches. Where we find some extend of the extend uh, some brinches. Some of the solvable. Extend guys. some brinches, guys. <laughs> it's the most basic enemy from Zelda 2. <laughs> Slimes. <laughs> Oh, careful here. There's a flower kind of in the pit. Now, obviously, if we were to just go down there, we we're going to die. So we need to toss an egg down there. And this egg bank is pretty uh, pretty difficult to nail. Nice. What if you would but spat one of those it. guys off the edge? Would it have, like, rolled and hit it? Damn. I need to try that now. <laughs> anyway, I used all my eggs to do that. You could so have I'm made like, well... that jump. <laughs> I decided to do it the alternative way. <laughs> by going back in this room... Recollecting up on my eggs and then going through that room again. Because all the bridges will disappear. This is also what you do in case you extend the bridge and go, Oh shoot, I didn't pick up the flower. <laughs> I'm a noob! It's good to see all these things go away when you leave the room. Yeah, but they'll come back. After the first bridge extended. Yep, they're back. <laughs> you could say there is a uh, salvo of them coming after us. See? <laughs> They're pudding. Just to, I'm just, just going to pretend they're vanilla pudding. <laughs> just to correct a comment earlier, a salvo is a barrage. It's not saliva. Oh yes, I saw so. that. <laughs> I, I corrected it in a different video, but in case you're just watching the Yoshi's Island series, yes, I know it's supposed to be salvo, and I said it was a saliva. <laughs> yeah, I think we were joking that, about that, though. Yeah. At least I yeah. was. I don't <laughs> know. I just... I derped on my reading comprehension. <laughs> oh, you didn't know we were joking? I'm sorry. Well, I was joking along too, but I was joking along at the name, not realizing that I read it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. This very wrong platform is that same purple, so no difference here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the different colors represent different sizes of merry-go-round platforms. We'll have to see if uh, there's another purple merry-go-round that has big arms, because I know like the bigger armed ones are usually green. Mm -hmm. So in that case, they designate the size of the merry-go-round. Yeah, that's, that sounds reasonable. It does. I, I kind of wanted to clear out the bottom, which I could have done, but I kind of ran out of eggs, and I didn't feel like really going through the <laughs> gratuitous task of uh, getting all those spikes disappeared, mainly because I really wanted to get this video recorded so we could record it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth. If you want to know the time of recording, I think this is about midnight Sunday. Wow. So, oh my gosh, really? Do you ever yes. sleep? <laughs> no, I never sleep. What is sleep? I only meditate. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, meditating is awesome and all, but that's still not good. There's one dizzy dandy standing between us and the boss. And now we're at the boss. So the boss and is And now Prince we're Froggy. at the boss, guys. Boss! You have to correct every single one of my mispronunciations. Yes, Secret, because it's see. funny. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> I just find it funny. So Kamek shrinks us instead of growing Prince Froggy. What a twist! Oh my gosh! What it's a so twist! Cute. Oh, Not for long. Got eaten. We're eaten. <laughs> Welcome to the boss of three four. We're inside Prince Froggy's stomach. Oh, wow, this is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah. Now, here's a fun fact about this boss, is that all the little acid droplets only appear on the sides of the arena, and none of them will ever drop down the middle. So that literally means we can stand in the middle of the arena, and we'll never get hurt by anything other than potentially the shy guy. This is the easiest boss battle ever. Which you should be <laughs> eating anyway, so... Yes. So essentially the strategy of this battle is literally stay in the middle, and you, you have almost no danger. I said before, the shy guys could get at you in case you have a really crappy reaction time, but I think you'd have to be like 400 years old and not have a good <laughs> exactly, reaction time. Exactly, yeah. I hope, I hope I'm still gaming at 400 years old. <laughs> I hope yeah, I that would too, be though. awesome. Just so I can prove my statement that I don't have the reaction time anymore. <laughs> so you beat the boss, and there's only one way out. Oh my so... gosh, it's like a rave party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only one way out. <laughs> Yoshi's face there. <laughs> I'd be reacting the same way, though. Oh. Thankfully, he gets over it really quickly. And there we go. Another 100. <laughs> like always, 100. Like always. That... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be warning those 100s later on. Well, I am earning them right now. But... 
The second half of the Jungle World awaits us up ahead on the next couple episodes of Let's Play Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3. So, this has been Miles Luigi. It's been Evil Pop's heart. And Kiri Dora. It's me! It's me! It's me! <laughs> Sorry. It's me! <laughs> See you all next time. Just before I forget, I actually wanted to give a shout out to you, Higsby, because oh. you actually started a Let's Play as of late. Oh, you yeah. started a Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. Mm hmm. Yeah, one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games. And in a game, admittedly, I've only played through up to about Clanker's Cavern, and then I got stuck. Oh, could you? Because the game was only rented. <laughs> I've never played it, so. <laughs> I've never played it either. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you should go check out Higsby's Let's Play. Um. He calls himself Andrew there because that's kind of his real name. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Maybe yes, we should all exit all on our real names. Real names. <laughs> yes, we all have real I names. I do not. So this has been Ryan. No, he's <laughs> Evil Pop Tart. He was born that way. Yes. Your parents named you Evil Pop Tart. Evil Pop Tart in his hands. Yes. Om nom nom. So yeah, check out uh, Higsby's or Andrew's uh, Let's Play. And yeah. see you all next time. Yeah, thanks a lot for the shout-out. <laughs> and you have a great night, everybody.